I'm at a uh, private garden called uh, Maison Fleur, and I'm in Rio, Florida. It's spelled Rio, but they call it Rio. Um, and it's kind of a standard size lot, suburban lot, uh, but just absolutely packed full of some really nice plants. Uh, there's a generous palm collection here. There's also a lot of bromeliads. Uh, so if you're a bromeliad person, this is certainly a place you want to consider checking out. We're on the southern end of the Treasure Coast, uh, again in Rio, um, just north of Stewart uh, and just south of Jensen Beach. So I came down here and the uh, woman that owns the home and runs this garden with her fellow gardener frog, her name is uh, Karen Louise. Uh, were gracious enough to allow me to come in and do the filming. Uh, the house and the garden, or the garden rather, is uh, available uh, for tours by appointment. So I made an appointment with her uh, to come in and check everything out. Now what I'm going to do is stop the video here and I will go into other sections of the garden and thanks to some editing I'll be able to put this all together. So just wanted to start out here in the front. going to go along to the side of the house here into what she calls the uh, rainforest section of her garden. And I'm just going to open this gate up real quick and close the gate behind me and attempt to latch it. In this garden collection she has um, 111 species of palms in 85 genre and um, has been uh, putting palms and other plants on this property since 1982 so being 2012 that's 30 years of, of collecting uh, so some of these plants and palms and trees and so forth are, are quite well along The hurricanes have been through here. And I'm going to just lean around this palm here. Once again, Mucho Bromeliads in here. And there's a spirit house. There's two spirit houses here for the gardens and the land. Nice canopy overhead. I'll take a uh, sort of a wider shot when I get out into another part of the garden. She also has a nice heliconia collection uh, in here. Some really pretty different types of heliconia. It's just a very beautiful and serene place. Again, she does uh, she does do tours by appointments. I think uh, she was saying that the winter time is her busier time with snowbirds and tourists and so forth. A nice poinciana tree to help shade out one corner of the Maison Fleur garden. Plants you'll recognize and some plants you just might not have seen around. At least that's what I'm experiencing here. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is a, uh, a private garden that is uh, available for tours by appointment. Uh, Karen Louisa is a very, very nice hostess and uh, very well informed on her plants. And she will guide you through and answer any questions. Uh, and I will make sure that the information is provided uh, in the description field of the video uh, so that you can find her easily. Uh, and I would highly recommend that if you live anywhere from Bavard to Palm Beach County or even further south, you come on by and take a look. She says she gets a lot of her uh, 
uh, visitors in the winter time, but you know, this is this is uh, probably the second week of September, I think. I don't even know what today's date is, but I think it's like the ninth. So anyway, we're in the second week, and uh, things look great here. Everything's green and happy. Uh, it's been a good rainy summer, so everything's good. So any time of the year is probably good to see it. This is certainly a great time of the year. So like I said, I'll make sure that you get contact information from me when I post this video. Uh, definitely worth seeing.